So right now you should have three layers. You should have your background layer with the picture, the layer that's white that's hiding the picture layer, and then the top layer with the mask that has the texture that's bringing the picture back. Um, right now as well, you're not going to really want to leave your picture where it's at. So you want to think about composition and placement of texture because you can play around with both of those a lot with this next step. Right now when I go to move my picture, the mask, so the um, clouds in the background, and the stamp, so the girl, are stuck together, so they're moving together right now. And that is because of this little link that is in between the mask and my cloud picture. So if I click on that link, it will unlink them. So now if I have my mask selected, I'm moving just the mask. So I can kind of move that around to see maybe which part of the picture looks the best. Especially if you have a picture that has a little bit more detail than just these clouds that are pretty consistent across the photo. So this would work a lot better if you maybe have pictures of trees or something that um, kind of overlay a little bit better with the face. And even here you can see a difference between this left side of the picture versus the right side where there's maybe a little bit more blue that helps the lips and the mouth stand out. So over here they kind of disappear a little bit. And then over in this section, it makes the lips and the eyes a little bit darker. So I like that um, placement better with it. I can also relink my pictures once I like the placement. So I clicked back in the middle here to relink them. So now I can move this back to the corner and start thinking about the composition. So maybe if your picture is really little on your image, you could stretch it to fill the page more. So Command-T will allow you to transform. And remember to hold down Shift when you click and drag from the corner to keep everything in proportion. So maybe I'll make that a little bit bigger and move it down a little bit here. And then I'll hit the check when I'm done. Going back to unlink this, I showed you how to move the actual picture. But think about also trying to move the placement of the texture. So if I hit Command-T on the texture, I can even rotate that. Again, that might um, benefit some images if you're able to rotate it. Just watch uh, where it's cutting part of the photo off. So here you can maybe uh, make your picture a little bit bigger. So think about rotating and moving around that texture layer as well to see kind of where it looks the best or what you can do with it. And then I'm going to link that again. Something else that you can play around with is using your paintbrush to kind of touch up areas. So if you look closely over here, I have this um, blue line that goes through the picture here. So that might be somewhere that you could uh, touch up a little bit with your paintbrush. So if I switch my color to white, it's going to make it a lot darker so you can really see that edge. Um, but I'm going to switch it to black and bring my opacity up. So I can kind of get rid of that line there and almost fade it into the photo more. So I can lower that opacity to start to fade that blue. I can also um, switch my colors to darken certain areas. So maybe I want the cloud to stand out more in the face or in the hair over here and almost continue out past the hair. I could have it kind of fade into the background more. And then if I switch my color to black, it's going to start to get rid of the picture. So you can play around with maybe um, having some areas blend or fade. So maybe I want the hair to kind of fade into the white and then maybe the hair at the top can fade. Just playing around with that brush and seeing if there's specific areas that you want to bring that detail out more in. So maybe even around the eyes here you could darken but again, think about what's going to work the best uh, for your picture and play around with that a little bit.